Okay, hello everyone, Yossi Kaplan here, a friendly Toronto and Costa Rica realtor. Today I'm gonna to show you how to estimate the cost of living difference between Toronto and Tamarindo. Now I chose Tamarindo, I'll show you the map in a second. I chose Tamarindo because it is a known uh, vacation town on the ocean, on the Pacific Ocean. And it's close to the development that we're working on, which is Palagardo Eco Development. So let me share some screens here and uh, we'll get going. Okay, the first thing I want to show you here, the share screen thing. There we go. Okay, um, <clears throat> if you want to see uh, what we're doing in Playa Lagarto, go through this video here on my channel, and it's called uh, Affordable Costa Rica Lots. Let me bring it up. There it is. Uh huh. Background for us. There you go. So <clears throat> that's more like it. Uh, this video right here, it's called Affordable Costa Rica Lots and from $50,000. And here you'll get an overview of the development, where it is, what we're doing there. Uh, I'll show you some costs. I'll show you some of the house catalog. Uh, you can see the specials. It's designed in such a way that if you're used to buying pre-construction in Toronto, you will understand this very, very well, and it goes with the different houses you can build and where the lots are and all that stuff. All right. Uh, the next thing here, and I'll show you real quickly, is what when you say co cost of living in Costa Rica, what is it really? Because what happens is that Costa Rica is not Canada, and Canada is not Costa Rica. And the same goes... This, the same goes uh, for the U.S. If you're coming from the U.S. or from Europe, you know, it's not exactly the same thing. So um, this will give you a quick look. So this is an example of the development that we're working on, which is a gorgeous development, a 1,000-plus acres. It's just off the coast. So you can see here where we are. So Tamarindo is right just above us. But you're getting the idea. This is, this is a gated community. So if you were to live in place like this or a place like Tamarindo, and I'll show you some property in Tamarindo, and you're more or less like in the same market. You know, you're going to the same town to get your shopping and you're going to the same uh, clinical or hospital if you need, and you're getting the same services and you're buying at the same restaurant and the real estate's more or less the same and whatever your extracurricular activities are. Okay, so all these things. So this is a good example. And the beach will look more or less like this. And there'll be a little surf shack. <clears throat> okay. So this is this is what you're looking at um, uh, in that term. Now, I'm going to share the map here and show you where we are on the map. Here we are. Put this guy in the corner. Okay. So this is uh, Tamarindo right here. A zoom out so you can see where we are. So we are on the Pacific Ocean on the west side, okay, on the west side of Costa Rica. And you'll be coming from Liberia Airport right around here, um, which is not that far. It's, it's about an hour, an hour and a bit, okay? And <clears throat> just so you see, I'll hit them window again. I'll, I'll just zoom in on it. There you go. Okay, so... It's a, it's like a, think of Wasega Beach or, or, or maybe uh, Collingwood or any of these type towns. It's a, it was a small fishing village, became a tourist town. Uh, now it's got little, little condos, lots of houses, and it, it's surrounded. It's it's surrounded by uh, small communities. Some are gated communities like the one we're in, uh, which is south here, just about half hour south, and 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 all kinds. Okay, all kinds. So um, let's move to the real estate so you can see. When I talk about the cost of living, you have to see. Let me share that. When I talk about the cost of living. One second, please. Share this one. Here we go. Okay, that's the one. Um, when you talk about cost of living, you have to understand what you're getting for the money. So it's not like... Toronto is really expensive and Costa Rica is really cheap or whatever, another place. Well, it, it, everything has to do with where you are, what the base cost of living is, and then what you get for it. And, and there's some there, there's some rhyme in, in, in here. There's, there's, some, there's some logic. So 
Tamarindo by itself is, you know, it's not cheap. You can see prices in Canadian, 900,000, 1 million, 2, 1 million, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 5, 3, 3. There's, there's obviously lots and lots and lots of stuff. And in the town itself, it, it, some of these prices are high. But you'll also find condos for half a million dollars. Okay, or lots for two hundred. The lots we sell half an hour from there are fifty thousand, eighty thousand, a hundred thousand. Um, but right in the town, the lots are going to be two hundred thousand. So you can expect that when the real estate is high, uh, the cost of living will match. It'll be a little higher, and this also acts as a social filter. Okay, so when Tamarindo becomes becomes more expensive, um, all the young people who used to come here to surf will move to the next beach town over. Okay, so there you go. All right, so here's the, uh, I'm going to move to this side. So this is the cost of living calculator. I'm going to show you a couple of those. And remember, um, cost of living calculators are really, I mean, it's it's your guess is as good as mine. Some of these seem to be a bit better than the others. Uh, this one seemed to be the best uh, that I found called Numbio. So um, where do you live right now? I live in Toronto. Uh, I'm going to Tamarindo or next door, but that's that's the area. It's going to give me an idea. Okay, so here we are. Just check you can see this. Yeah. All right. So I'll come up again here. Okay, very good. So watch this. Uh, cost of living in Tamarindo is 20.7% lower that in Toronto without rent. Have you expected it to be more, like 30 or 40 or 50%? Well, remember the Canadian dollar is not doing that great. If you were to compare this, if you if, if you were to compare this to the US, you can add another 20 or 30%. So it'll be, it'll be half because you're bringing US dollars. Um, so you, you gotta take that in consideration, but still, let's look at some examples here. Uh, rent in Tamarindo is 23% lower. Most of the people that watch here will watch because they're going to be owners in Costa Rica. So you're not going to have any rent, okay? Uh, Tamarindo, 28% lower. Restaurant prices, about 30% lower in Tamarindo. And Tamarindo is still a tourist town, okay? So it'll be, if you're going to go to the small town next door, it'll, it should be lower. Uh, grocery in about 20%. Local purchasing power, okay. Um, and now you can see here, meal in expensive restaurant. And this is people report, this is in Kelowna, is in a uh, change. It's $26 in Toronto and $16 in Tamarindo. Okay, that's almost 40%. You see this, yeah? Um, meal for two, 125 in Toronto. Yeah, right. I don't know what, well, in Tamarindo, $80. Okay. Uh my daughter and I had lunch yesterday. One full plate, one two small plates, uh, one juice, one dessert. No other drinks. Soda water. No other drinks. Eighty-eight dollars with the tip. Seventy-eight dollars before the tip. Lunch. So yeah, uh, McDonald's fifteen. That's almost the same. Domestic beers about half. Imported beer slightly less than half. Cappuccino seem to be almost the same. Uh, Coke, Pepsi, almost there. Water, okay. And the and, and that's a tourist town. That's a tourist town. Now, um, these things here don't always have um, <clears throat> all the all the towns, but gives you an idea, okay? Uh, now you can flip it, and then you'll get Toronto cost of uh, so cost of living in Toronto is twenty six percent higher than in Tamarindo. Cost of rent is 30% higher. Uh, higher. Our rent prices are 34, almost 40% higher than in Tamarindo. It would take even more. Our restaurant prices are 42% higher in Toronto. Grocery is 22. Okay, so Toronto is expensive. Toronto is expensive, and here you have the same comparison. Just, just okay, you get this. Now I'll show you this one. Uh, that's another site called Expatisen. Expatisen. Expatisan. Okay, um, and you gotta take this thing with a grain of salt. So, where do you want to move? I want to move to the Tamarindo. I don't think they have Tamarindo. No, I think there's only uh, 
Costa Rica. There's only San Jose, which is the capital. Okay, we'll go with that. Toronto, Ontario. Toronto, Canada. And we'll compare this. Cost of living in San Jose, Costa Rica is 41% cheaper than in Toronto, Canada. Okay, so this one tells me 41%. So you can see more or less there's like you can average these things and obviously it's up to your lifestyle. It's up to how you spend, how much you eat, how much you consume. All these things will come into consideration. But nonetheless, uh, living in Costa Rica, which is the most expensive country in, in Central America, is still give or take 40% cheaper than in Toronto. So that's amazing. Now, <clears throat> if you add to that the sunlight, the freshness of the food, the high amount of minerals and vitamins in the fruit and vegetables, because it's grown right there in the sun, it doesn't travel all the way from Dominican or Mexico or Costa Rica back to Toronto. You're adding a lot more that is that is in health and in happiness and, and in, in good good quality of life. All right, so that's what I got for you for, uh, for today. So I'll just do a quick uh, recap here. Uh, this site is called Expatist, Expatistan. Expatistan. <laughs> All right, that's what it is. Uh, I think you can compare countries to cost of living in Canada. I believe you can compare countries here. So there you go. Uh, this one goes Numbeo, compare cities, cost of living. Costa Rica versus Canada. So by itself, uh, this one says 23%. So you can see one says 41%, one says 23%. But you get the idea. Rent price in Canada, now it says 80% higher than in Costa Rica. Okay, that's more like it. So it really depends on what, what you look at. Um, always check on... Yeah, always check on the real estate in the place you go because it's going to teach you a lot about what to expect from that place. Now, obviously, in the actual Tamarindo, yeah, you'll see... Let's restrict the price a bit. And you can see more reasonable prices. So this is some land, modern, a place with a, it's a condo with a pool, a condo, piece of land, condo, condo. So just the land alone, Lobster Tail Tamarindo, that, that's not cheap. This is five times what we charge, five times more. Seven hundred eighty-five square meter. That, that's a lot more than what we charge. So Tamarindo is more expensive than when we are just half hour south of there. Nonetheless, the cost of living outside of the rent, or if you purchase it, which you will probably, um, is more or less the same. Now, if you wanted to save on cost of living, you're just going to go to the next town and not buy in the tourist town. That's all. That's all you got to do. All right. So that's it for today. That was it. This is how you compare cost of living. Um, now, just to show you here, I'll finish with Playa Lagarto. So you can see what I'm talking about here. Here's Tamarindo. There's no direct route. So you go out and then back in. Okay. And here is where we are, down here. And that's our beach. All right. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Yossi Kaplan.